Welcome to another video. Let's do another quick integral that's exciting. Here we have the hyperbolic tangent, which I call than x. Some people say it's tanch x, but we'll just say hyperbolic tangent just to solve all the world's problems. And this is e to the x, but uh, MIT has chosen to write it as exponential function of x, which is the same thing, okay? And we need to integrate this, but we're integrating from zero to infinity. Okay, usually when you get this um, improper integrals, they scare you because, um, yeah, most people don't want to deal with anything improper. Yeah, they like to be proper. But we have to find a way through this. Remember that the hyperbolic tangent function is expressed in terms of e, and this also is in terms of e. So you should have this idea that if you, by the time you combine everything in terms of e, something nice is going to show up. Before we move on, remember to like this video, share it, and leave a comment in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, please be subscribed. I need you. Thank you. Let's get into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is to rewrite this and express everything in terms of e. Maybe some great ideas will show up. So what we're going to say is that this integral is the integral from zero to infinity of what is hyperbolic tangent? Ah, that's a problem already. Okay, so hyperbolic tangent is the ratio of hyperbolic sine to hyperbolic cosine. So we know that hyperbolic tangent of x is hyperbolic sine of x over the hyperbolic cosine of x. That this is equal to, what is the hyperbolic sine of x? It's one half of e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by one half of e to the x plus e to the negative x. So clearly, this one half will cancel this one half, and this is what you have here. So the integral we have is actually e to the x minus e to the negative x over e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by e to the x. Let's say times 1 over e to the x. Okay, let's leave it this way. Now there's a very quick strategy that I would recommend and it is to make a u substitution. How do I know I should do a u substitution at this point? Because I see 1 over e to the x. See, 1 over e to the x is this guy. And when you take the derivative of this function, this is going to show up. Because this guy will always show up when you take its derivative, and it's going to show up as this. And that way I can get rid of everything. So watch this. So I'm going to say, let u be equal to e to the negative x so that du, if I take the derivative, du is going to be negative e to the negative x dx. I'm going to move this negative sign here so that negative du is going to be 1 over e to the x dx. So I can go here and replace this guy with negative du. And because I said u equals e to the negative x, I can actually say that 1 over u is equal to e to the x. So if I go back and plant all the things I've done, oh, we got to do u, and we have to change all of these boundaries. Mm, okay, let's do that. So since we said u is e to the negative x, when, when x is 0, what would this become? 1. So we're going to have u is equal to 1. u evaluated at 0 is going to be 1. And then u evaluate, or you can ignore these boundaries for now. Let's just do it. u evaluated at infinity is going to be, if, it, if as e goes, so this is going to be 0, actually. Okay, we don't want to waste time on that. Let's get rid of this. So what we're going to do now is plug in everything that's essential. So we're going to say that this integral, um, let's call this i. So we know that the integral is now equal to the integral starting from 
the lower boundary will become 1 and this will be 0. Okay, um, we can actually make it minus and switch this. Let's switch this 1 and this is 0. Okay, I don't want to go from lower to upper. So I put a minus here. Okay, and e to the x is 1 over u. So this is 1 over u minus this is u divided by the bottom is going to be 1 over u plus this is u and we said that 1 over x 1 over e to the x dx will be replaced by minus du times minus du well this minus can help us undo this okay so that it becomes a plus so we can say that our integral is actually well while i do this this minus comes here and cancels this out um, I'm just going to remove it now. Okay? You see what happened. Minus times minus becomes a plus. Now, what do we do here? I have a fraction within a fraction, so I'm just going to multiply the top and bottom by u. Okay? And what happens is the integral from 0 to 1 is going to become, if I multiply this by u, I get 1 minus u squared over, multiply this by u, I get 1 plus u squared. Nice. And I have du. That's it. So, what do I do here? I just, because, okay, so whenever you have a rational expression, remember that the degree of the top must be less than the degree of the bottom for you to be able to integrate. Okay? If, if it is not, you have to simplify. Do long division, synthetic division, or just do manipulation as I'm going to do now. So watch what I'm going to do. This is the same thing as the integral from 0 to 1 of, I'm going to split this into 1 over 1 plus u squared du minus the integral from 0 to 1 of u squared over 1 plus u squared. But you see, but you see this one can actually be broken down into u squared plus 1 minus 1. I can write this as u squared plus 1 minus 1. And then I can split this in 2 and make this minus 1 over 1 plus u squared du. That's how you integrate this. Okay, we're going to take one more step. We are going to rewrite this as, um, if we integrate this, well, you know, this will cancel this. So what you have left is just minus integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus 1 over 1 plus u squared du. All of this under the integral sign. Ah, and this will be 0 to 1 of 1 over 1 plus u squared. Okay, well, when I did this the first time, I had these two together. I don't know what's going on now, but now they're separated. But let's just finish this. So this will be equal to, what's the integral of this? Is arctan of u evaluated from 0 to 1. What is this integral? Minus, this integral is just u, right? Evaluated from 0 to 1. This minus will change this to a plus, and this is the same thing as this, is the arctan of u, evaluated from 0 to 1. Let's put our final answer here. So what do we get here? If we plug in 1 here, arctan of 1 is pi over 4, and arctan of 0 is 0. So what we have here is equal to pi over 4, minus 0, minus, if we plug in 1 here, this is going to be minus 1. If you plug in 0 here, it's 0. So it's just minus 1. And we go here, it's going to be plus. What do we have? It's the same thing, exactly the same thing as this. So that's going to be pi over 4 minus 0. So it looks like we've got pi over 4 plus pi over 4 minus 1. That's pi over 2 minus 1. This is what we've got. Now, you could have done this any other way, 
But this, I think, was the most essential part, you being able to resolve this into this integral. This is the integral that gave us this answer. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.